Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Feeling the best in the world this morning, but I'm going on anyway. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Every time I pick this book up, the Word of God, I find something new in it. And uh, I didn't know it, but they uh, in here it tells about the uh, trees. There's more, they, it talks about a lot of different trees. They even tell what kind of trees is in it. The Garden of Eden. But if I don't pick this book up and read it, what good is it? That's right. Yes. If we don't take time to pick this Bible up and look at the words in it, we'll never ever know. Amen. So if you don't have a Bible, you need to get one. And you need to read it. And yes. One thing I do is one thing I don't do is read it every day like I should. Yeah. But I want to. I'm going to start reading more. I'm, I'm telling you, the more you read, the more you'll know, and the more you, that you'll see this in this book. Like I said, and I, there was a. I didn't realize that. In Ezekiel, it does. It tells about. Uh, it said the cedars in the garden of God could not hide him. The firs were not like his boughs. The chestnut trees. Were not like his branches, nor any tree in the garden of God was like unto him in his beauty. I have made him fair by the multitude of his branches, so that all the trees of Eden that were in the garden of God envied him. See, so it tells it tells what kind of trees were in there. And, uh, and and I can just imagine in my mind these these trees, uh, all the different kind of trees were in there. But there was also two other trees that it mentions in the first part, and that was a tree of knowledge and the tree of life. Yeah. And Jesus Christ is the tree of life. Yes, he is. is. And Satan was there at the tree of knowledge. Yeah. He wanted he wants you to know a lot of things, but and uh, to get you off on the wrong track. But Jesus Christ wanted to, to give us life. Wanted yes. To, if if, if, if uh, Adam and Eve would have went to that tree of life and so into that the tree of knowledge, they would have lived forever. They never would have had to worry about dying. Yes. Uh, and uh, we never would. They would have been. We would all have been here. So we need to leave that knowledge, which is of the world, alone. And get into this knowledge, which is the word of, of God. Yes. And that's one thing, like I said, I don't do. I don't do enough of. I don't get into this word like I should. But when I do look, whoo, some of the things that you see in there. Yeah. And I might say, thank you, Lord, for showing that because I've never seen it before. And that should make me want to open this Bible more. Yeah. To look more, to see more, to to get more to and say so that I can. You know, that's that's what I like to do, start doing is sometime or another to uh, put forth a kind of challenge, I don't guess, but to uh, 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 a question or, or I don't know how to explain to you, but to for you to look into this to the Word to find what I'm talking about. And then for each one of you to do the same thing, to get into this Word and to see something and then put forth a, a, a challenge or whatever for them, yes. everybody else to look to find what you're talking about. Yes. Right. Because once they see it, they say, well, I've I never seen that. I never knew it. Now I do. Yeah. Now I want to look more at what God has to say about that. Let's look a little deeper into what it says. But I do. I, I, I thank God for showing me that. And I guess that's what I want to do is put forth the challenge for you to, to pick your Bible up, to look in there and find these things and uh, to uh, give a chance to say, for you to call up your neighbor or somebody or, or a brother and say, look, this is what the Lord, the Lord showed me, what yeah. God showed me. Come on, bro. I used to have a, uh, I used to be our Sunday school teacher. His name was uh, Marion Hicks. Uh, we got where for a long time he would be excited about something he found. He'd have to call me up and say, look here's yeah. what the Lord showed me. <laughs> and uh, it was sort of strange because he would tell me that and then, but I'd be like, yeah, okay. And he said, 
He would be like, well, can't you see what I'm talking about? What God has showed me? Can you not see this? And I would do the same thing. And, and I would be so excited. And I want him to be excited about it too as I was. But he wouldn't. But, but I was excited to find something that I never knew. Yeah. And I'm telling you, if you really got into this word, you would see what I'm talking about. But I do. I thank God for showing me that. And uh, just... Uh, Every chance you get, well, no, don't, don't ever tell you. You won't ever take a chance. You won't, you won't have a chance. Just make a time yeah. to get into the Word. That's right, brother. Come on. Read it. Like, it's like I said, if you never read it, you'll never know what it says. Right. 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 Understand. Right. And to me, I had to start from the beginning all the way to the end. That's the only way I could understand this Word. Yeah. Was to start at the front. Because when you start out at the beginning... You don't know what's going on at the end. Yes, that's right. But uh, I, like I said, I thank God for that. And uh, we, uh, uh, what happened? I don't know what it is. There's there something that just slipped me out. Like I said, I'm not feeling the best in the world this morning, but I'm going on. I'm going to do what I want to do. Yes. Well, let's just go ahead and take time to pray right now. Yes. yes. Heavenly Father God, thank you for such a wonderful day. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Lord, even in our sickness, we're going to go on with you. We're yes, going to keep yeah. on. Because we know that, that you're going to bring us through the yes, sickness. Yes, Jesus. That you're going to heal us of it, Lord. Lord, this day, we ask that you just open our hearts and minds to that which you have for yes, us, Lord. Jesus. Lord, and just let that sweet spirit just fall upon us. Yes, Jesus. Use us, guide us, and help us, Lord, to each and every part of this service. In Jesus' holy name I pray, amen.